In this video, I'm going to show you how you can filter this whole dashboard by top end products by sales. So user will have an option to enter how many top 10 products, for example, which is default value or top 20 products you want to select and then filter this whole dashboard by those top end products by sales. So for example, if I want to filter this whole dashboard, uh, let's sort it by sales here first five here then if i enter five it will filter the whole dashboard by first five products here by sales okay so i already set up this presentation variable where user can enter any value and i'm going to use this value to show you how you can do that uh, now before we do that we just need to curate some data we want to have another table or analyzer view which has list of product by sales rank I've already done that uh, it's pretty easy to create that using analyzer view product sales ranked so let's take a look at this quickly so this is uh, just an aggregated table with product and sales here and sales rank formula is pretty straightforward if you look at this this is just rank function i'm using group by uh, I, i'm not specifying anything because it's just by one level which is product and then order by sum of uh, sales revenue and then next parameter is false because i want to rank product with maximum sales as one so that's what this is doing here now uh, product sales rank this is what i'm going to use now to design my filter so let's go ahead and design that filter now, right now there's no filter it's showing you all the 49 products, but whatever value I select here, it will show me only those top end products here and other insights here will also filter for only those top end products. So let's design this filter for using applied filter. Now, since I want to filter by top product, so let's drag and drop products here. And this is where it becomes a little bit tricky. So pay close attention here. There's a filter there's an operator called inquiry this is what you need to use because i'm filtering using a completely different table or analyzer view which has product by sales rank and that i'm going to use to filter it here okay so that's why inquiry filter it's like a sub query filter i'm designing for this dashboard and you can use a function called query and what this is going to do is it is going to return me a list of all the products from sorry not this one we need to bring in uh, product sales ranked right okay so because we are going to filter this whole dashboard by top end products by sales so this analyzer view has list of all the product by sales ranked and this sales rank here and then I just need to add one filter here, which will use the presentation variable where you will have the value of N for top N. So sales rank is smaller than equal to, I've already created this presentation variable called P rank. And this is what I'm going to use. Now let's go ahead, let's format this in review. Looks good. And let's save this. All right, so as soon as I do that, and dashboard gets refreshed now it is only showing me top 10 products here right let's say if i want to do this for top five products and then click on apply now this is filtering whole dashboard for top five products by sales and you can of course sort it by sales and see it here and the revenue profit loss margin everything i see here is for top end products by sales and this you can always define a list of value here and restrict user to select maybe from 1 to maybe 20 or depending on a requirement right 